they don't really think it makes a big difference, but everything is like, sometimes things are just like so close and you're like almost there. Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Yeah, it's uh, with, with that judging stuff, you know, it seems like uh, there's a, a big uh, uproar. And I think it's good. It's a good thing because these fighters, that fight, you know, it's a huge fight. It's like big money fight. Of course, it's a title fight, but it's big money involved in that fight. And, and nobody won which means nobody got their win bonus, which is the worst part, I think. Yeah, it's super crazy. And I, I feel like to do a 10-8, I mean, they're – and, you know, you saw in the media that they're doing, like, a course or whatever, some training about the 10-8. But, I mean, it doesn't change what happened. And now they're probably going to do a trilogy. So then, you know, Fiora and or Blanchfield gets kind of passed by. or But you know what? If they put the two of them together, I am interested in that fight. I love that fight. But one of them I would have thought would have gone, you know, next for the title. But um, I guess probably a, another rematch. And then I'm so excited for Blanchfield and Fiora. I think that's going to be a fantastic fight, contender fight for the belt. Yeah, I'm interested in that third fight as well. Like, it is a very, very tight fight right there, you know. Alexa Grosso surprising everybody and the third fight i think it becomes not a surprise anymore right and i just she's gonna be able to do i feel i almost feel bad for her i mean i do think that had that been a 10-9 for her shevchenko would have obviously won but i i mean having to fight the same person three times in a row especially you having the belt so there's like all kinds of pressure and whatever so I feel a little bit bad that that's her next fight and not somebody new that she can get kind of like excited for but um yeah, it's going to be a fantastic fight either way. Just for, you know, for the people watching. For her, I feel like kind of a bummer, but. I just have some feeling that she just has Valentina's number. Like, just right. stylistically, you know, and the way she moves, you know, and the and she's very opportunistic. So, right. yeah, I'm excited for it, too. I like, uh, to, I like to see it. It really does suck for, for us to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fans. Um, let's talk about, you know, your fight coming up. October 14th, you're facing off against Ashley Yoder. Um, she's been out for a little bit. You know, what do you think of uh, her? And she was a top 15 fighter ranked, so it's a good matchup. You know what I mean? A, a decent name in the division. You know, you've been getting those types of names, so it's nothing new. Yeah, I'm excited for this matchup. Um, she has been out for a while. I'm not really sure what that's about but she's back and I like the matchup I think she's more of like a a grappler for sure um definitely more comfortable on the ground she she gets you there she likes to hold you there and kind of keep it there um but as far as striking I think she will strike which is why it's interesting but she definitely wants to be on the ground I think so um I'm really excited I think this is a good matchup for me a good fight to kind of like really get back on track um my last fight I had like a good fight scheduled and then two weeks out it got canceled and then rescheduled against somebody else so that was kind of like a little hectic but um I really wanted to fight so I have nothing you know to complain about but um I'm really excited about this matchup and this fight really good amount of time I had a great camp did some trips and I'm just really looking forward to getting back in there yeah but before we talk about those trips I'm interested to get your thoughts on the trips that you took uh the last fight right you you mentioned it you had a great matchup you know it's an exciting uh stylistic matchup and two weeks out you get a totally different style right like you know lupita lupi gudinas is totally different from Pollyanna viana and uh you know when you do camp now do you do you need to do camp for everybody in the division, right? It seems like people are pulling out like really last minute in these matchups. Yes. Um, I wasn't really worried about like it was definitely a total, totally different stylistic matchup. But really, you know, I have the skills to face any type of style. So it's not really about that. It's just like Loopy's a hard fight to take on two weeks. And and I was feeling really good. You know, I had a great camp, so I really wanted to fight. Um now looking back, like maybe next time I won't take an opponent change on like a couple weeks. Um, just depend. It really just depends. Um, 
I felt fantastic. Had a great camp. I even felt really good in the fight. It just was like a, just like a few things that I didn't do that I needed to do. I feel like I was picking it up more towards the end. So just adjustments and learning and I'm bummed that it happened the way it happened, but I am, um, you know, I've been working really hard to fix mistakes and, and to really implement things in the fight. So I'm, I'm excited for this fight. What, what mistakes did you feel you made in that fight that the fans would not even notice? I just maybe didn't do enough. Um, didn't make some, some adjustments until later in the fight. Um, like I feel like I had a good third round. I really, in my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, these are the adjustments I needed to make. Maybe if I had made them in the second, you know. But it is what it is. Um, it was good experience. Loopy's really good. So, um, I mean, it was good to get that. And like I said, I felt really good in the fight. So, I can't really complain. It's not like I didn't show up or I felt like trash in there. And so, it was just very small. Like, I, I'm very, very close to, you know, I feel like a really good performance. So, um this, this fight is that for me. This is, that's what I want. I just want to go out there and, and do everything that I can do and perform and get the win and get back on track. When you debuted, you know, you debuted spectacularly, right? You took out a, a top 15 opponent and then the expectations rose so high, right? Like now you're on your way up real quick. And, uh, and sometimes it just doesn't happen, right? Sometimes the matchups don't work out. Sometimes, you know, we, we just saw Izzy lose the title in a, in a fight where everybody thought he was going to win. And he just revealed that it just, it just it wasn't working. Like right. noodle arms, you know. Like, have you had that in fights before? Like, where you were in there and you're just like, man, it's just. I feel like people, some people, um, like me, more so fans, not fighters, because fighters will understand this. But I feel like some people don't understand like how minimal some things are that makes just like a big difference. Like, you know, maybe you're not feeling great or like, like a very minimal adjustment, or like even techniques, so like, you know, mental and physical, I feel like very small adjustments, people don't understand, like makes like a really big difference. So like, if you're having an off night, huge difference. If you're having a technique that's just like not working by like just a tiny bit, and you can't get the fight to where you need it to go. I mean, they're very minimal things, but they make a big, big difference in how the outcome of the fight goes. So um I feel like I'm like almost there and um I mean I'm I'm not I'm not you know I don't love that I've lost my last two and but they were they were experienced like I'll take the experience and like Angela Hill and Loopy have tons of fight tons of experience and me being in there with them only gives me more confidence I know I'm on that level I know I'm super close to like a kind of like a breakout performance for myself and it's not so much pressure from other people more so you know I have big goals for myself that I want to do. And so I really just want to, you know, fight and do well and, and perform for myself and for the fans to watch. Um, and I'm super close. Like, like I said, very minimal adjustments that people think they don't really think it makes a big difference, but everything is like, sometimes things are just like so close and you're like almost there. And that, that'll make or break a fight. I think in my, in my opinion, like you said, kind of like, you know, Izzy just got surprised and his game just wasn't working that night, you know, and um, it just happens. Sometimes it happens and it sucks and it just is what it is. Yeah. Fighters are the best, I think, at like facing something like that and kind of overcoming that and then continuing on, you know what I mean? Regular people, it's, it's harder for them. Um, now you mentioned some trips. Uh, where did you go? I went to Vegas. I trained at Extreme. I did two training trips out there, um, one in August and one in September. So kind of like one month apart. And then I go back in October. So I kind of did it like spaced out. So um, feeling really good about that. Got a little bit, you know, a Vegas time. I hadn't before my trip had not really gone to the PI and checked anything out or I feel like it's just nice to go out and get accustomed to Vegas and get more comfortable there because that's where I'm going to be fighting. So got some really good training in. Obviously, Extreme has like a, a massive team and um, really happy with with my camp. The the PI, did you did you go get the test done? Did you do that? or I didn't because I was only out there for a few days. And that in combination with the training, I just 
didn't want to do. And they kind of recommended spacing it out. And um, I didn't have the time for that. So I'm planning on doing that after I fight, go back out there and do that. It'd be interesting to see like where you stand, you know, right. on, on, you know, on, on the rankings of that. It doesn't really mean as much, but it's just good to see like, okay, maybe I, there's something that I could change or improve, yeah, right? definitely curious to see that. And you know, uh, where where else did you go? I saw I saw a picture you uploaded with with Penny. Was, was that in Europe or was that here or in no, the U.S.? No, here she was in Oklahoma City for like ten days, um, and that was super super good. Um, my husband has been doing her nutrition for like several years, so she came out here, um, did some stuff, and then we trained, and that was so good. Um, Penny's obviously really experienced in the UFC, ranked and very good. So I loved having her here and having that training. And and funny enough, she is, um, you know, she's 135, but she's similar size of my opponent. My opponent, Yoda, is tall and long. Um, and Penny is like that similar height. So it, it worked out really well for me. And um, I feel like I really benefited from having her out here. Yeah, she's she like studies fights. You know, I, I, I've spoken with her a few times. She studies fights deep, so she knows the game really well, right? Oh, yeah. She's definitely smart. Um, she she does commentary also for fights, so I feel like she's just constantly analyzing, and, and that plays really well into, you know, assessing fights and, and game plans and strategies and whatnot. You mentioned the, the body type that Ashley has, right? Tall, long. Pollyanna Vienna, kind of similar to that, right? And you already did a camp for that, that body type, right? With, with, that's going to be helpful. Yes. Yeah, so Yoder's tall and long, but because it's 115, um, she's, it's like a, it's a thin, you know, not like a, like a really big. So she's tall, long, lanky, but it's a thin, um, cause 115, you know, how, how, <laughs> The taller you are, the thinner I feel like you have to be to make that weight. So um, she's not the first person that's 5'7 that I fought. Um, so I'm not really, you know, I'm not really stressed about it. She's also not the first southpaw. So um, just, a, just a little bit different, but some similarities between, you know, people I fought and people I've trained with this camp um, worked worked in my favor. Yeah, for sure. And anywhere else did you did you hop around a little bit more? <laughs> In the very beginning, we did a, like a trip to Arizona and I got to train with, we have a, a friend out there that's training at um, Fight Ready. So we just did like, it was very minimal training. I wouldn't even say training camp, but it was good training just to go out there. But it was like towards the very beginning, you know, um, but that kind of kicked it off. So I did that little trip, a couple of training sessions with her out there, two trips to Vegas and Panny was here. Wow. You've been busy well you're always busy with camp you're always doing something right like going somewhere or coming back or... at like a couple of, a couple of trips or a couple of people mm -hmm. coming just a couple of things just to you know you train with the same people in at home and i feel like they just get used to what i'm doing um and i'm like you're stopping what i'm doing but i know that if <laughs> with somebody else it's not going to be that situation so mm -hmm. it's kind of like just good to get like a fresh look that doesn't necessarily know what i've been doing the whole camp that's that's uh yeah that, yeah you're stopping what i'm doing but if if you didn't really know me for the past two yeah. years right and train with me every day yes. you would know what i'm doing yeah, yeah. That, that is something that uh this game man this game is a trip um yeah what, what do you expect you know you i guess you want that breakout performance you know i mean you had you know, you had that actually in your debut, but you won another one, right? Because you've been fighting the top girls. It's not like you went back and fought like some de debutante or, you know, someone that had like one, two fights in the U.S. You fought like girls that are like in the top 15 every single time. Yeah, I feel like um, this is a good matchup for where I'm at, you know, coming off those two fights. So I just... I just, you know, Angela Hill's a big name, got a lot of experience, so I feel like that was a big fight, and I, I definitely didn't show up to that. Um, and then that opponent change, um, well, like I said, I'm not complaining because I felt good. So, like, good camp. I felt good in that fight. I know I'm really close to kind of, like, 
coming out and doing doing how I want to fight. So this fight, that's what it is for me. I just want to go out there, do what I want to do, kind of a little bit of everything, mix it up, really, really put the pressure, put the pace and get the win by any means necessary, get back on track and just stay as active as possible. Um, and eventually fight those bigger names again and work my way back up. But I'm not in a rush. I just feel like I got, I got some hard matchups like back to back and, and that's fine. I'll, I'll never say no to a, a hard matchup or a big name or anything like that. So that to me is just experience and it didn't shake out in my favor, but, um, this is a good fight for me and I'm very excited to get back in there and, and kind of do, do more. <laughs> You know, men and women are different, right? People talk about the prime years of male athletes, especially in fighting, it's like the early 30s, you know, and once they hit like 34, 35, that's when it kind of starts to wane. What do you think about women? What do you think the prime years for women athletes? Is it the same or is it different? Um, Honestly, there's like Jessica Penn and Angela Hill are 38. Like they're, they're getting pretty close to 40, and I feel like they're still in really prime shape and conditioning. Um. Angela Hill is obviously like super active, so that I think that really benefits her. But um, honestly, in my mind, I want to say like 35, 36 bef before that. So like, I don't know. And now there's so many young fighters, so it's really hard. But I feel like 28 to 34, 35 is like really, really good. And then there's the exceptions, you know your Angela Hill is in good shape and, and really active. So, but I don't think that everybody's going to fight until then, but I feel like 28 to 34, I feel like that's a really good time frame for, you know, prime performing. Well, you're, you're right there. You're in the midst of that. Yes. Those prime years. <laughs> so expectations, you know, like some people have them for you. Some people don't. But you're going to go out there and do your thing. October 14th, UFC Fight Night Las Vegas. Thank you, Emily, so much for the time. And uh, it's always good catching up and, and seeing what you're doing because you're always doing something different. You know what I mean? Like when I talk to some fighters, they're just like the same thing every yeah. single strike camp. It's just right. like, come on, sometimes you got to change things up, right? I, I really focus a lot on kind of like changing it up, doing something new this time, really putting, putting a, a different type of like, you know, if it's not your gym, it's a different type of training um, where you're going into somebody else's home as like a visitor. It's kind of different so that it just makes you uncomfortable. And, and sometimes you just need to be uncomfortable and just get it done. And so um, I really enjoyed doing that this time. And, and the girls there were really, really, really nice. So it worked out and I loved it.